Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins with Katya Fonina, a 20-year-old Russian girl who lives in a tiny village. Her grandfather Ivan, a World War II veteran, is her only relative. In a little town in Russia, they live a modest and happy existence. In the same neighborhood, there are three young fellows. The boys are boisterous and spoiled, frequently hitting on the neighborhood girls, with no regard for the repercussions. Wednesdays are designated as a day for the group to party, and call girls to have fun together. But on one particular Wednesday, they can't seem to find any females interested in partying with them. As they brainstorm ideas, their gaze is drawn to Katya. Vadim, one of the boys, was Katya's high school classmate. When he reveals that he knows her, the other males request that he lure her to their apartment. When Vadim realizes why his buddies want Katya in the room, and agrees with the plan, he hurries downstairs with Igor, and invites Katya to join them for a moment. When she hesitates, they say it's their friend Boris's birthday, and only Katya can make him happy. She still refuses to leave, because her grandfather awaits at home. When the guys urge her, she agrees to accompany them for five minutes, and then she will leave. She spots many bottles of alcohol on the table as she arrives inside. She feels uneasy, but doesn't want to appear impolite. The boys offer her a glass of booze and encourage her to drink it up. They also bring up her talent for singing, and they have her sing for Igor. Boris quietly puts some stuff in her glass while she is distracted. Soon, the guys get closer and closer to her. She stands up and attempts to walk out, but the stuff causes her to become dizzy. The boys drag her into another room and encircle her. Their intentions are clearly evident to her, but she is powerless to defend. Boris restrains her and assaults. When it gets dark a few hours later, Katya has given up attempting to resist. The boys eventually let her leave, and pay her money to keep quiet. She is so traumatized that she barely speaks. She calmly walks outside, throws the money away, and returns home, leaving behind her former classmate Vadim, who is concerned that they may get into trouble. The other two, on the other hand, are convinced that no one can harm them, owing to Vadim's father's position as a higher-ranking police official. Katya arrives home and sobs on the floor. When her grandfather observes the marks on her thighs, he understands what has happened. He becomes enraged and asks her who did it. After learning that it was the neighborhood boys, he goes to their apartment to punish them. On the way, a neighbor stops him, and advises they call the police first. A bunch of cops storm into the flat and arrest the boys. The inspector is as enraged as Katya's grandfather, and wishes to punish the men. The perpetrators initially maintain they have done nothing wrong. The inspector takes them to separate rooms, and threatens to put them in the same prison as killers who will abuse them as they did Katya. Scared, Boris finally admits to bringing her to the house, and abusing. Just then, Vadim's father and the police colonel, Nikolai arrive on the scene. He meets with the inspector, and attempts to use his authority to bring the criminals to his office, so that he can handle the matter on his own, but the inspector claims that the criminals have already confessed, and that the police have discovered a sheet with Katya's blood on it, implying that they are guilty, and must be taken into custody immediately. When Nikolai insists on bringing the convicts to his office, the inspector tells him he must give him his orders in writing. A junior officer then reveals that the criminals have a female's day every Wednesday, and have misbehaved with several women. Everyone in the neighborhood agrees, the boys are a bunch of perverts who should be imprisoned right away. Nikolai walks away for the time being, but he is determined to release his son and his friends. Ivan wakes up the next morning, frightened because he can't find Katya anywhere. She calls him from the bathroom, claiming she can't bear looking at herself in the mirror. Ivan feels terrible for his granddaughter, but has no way of making her feel better. He wishes to get a female doctor from the floor above, to check on Katya, but she resists, claiming that she doesn't want anybody to know what happened to her. Ivan adds that the entire neighborhood is aware, because of the police search that occurred yesterday, and Katya is scared at this prospect. She believes she will be recognized as the girl who was molested for the rest of her life. The doctor checks on her, and discovers that she is ill. She advises Katya to stay at home and recover for a few days. Later in the day, Ivan discovers that the criminals were released due to Vadim's father's influence. He gets enraged, and is determined to bring his granddaughter to justice. He and Katya proceed to meet with a police officer to file an appeal with the court. However, the individual turns out to be a crooked officer who Nikolai bribed. He chuckles at Katya's narrative, and accuses her of being too nice with the guys in return. He believes she went to their flat on purpose to have fun with them, in order for one of them to marry her. Hearing this, Katya is greatly distraught. She lacks the courage to fight for justice, and wishes to forget everything. Ivan, on the other hand, is unwilling to let the situation go. 
he goes seeking the guys the next day, and finds them hanging out in a car. When the boys ask him what he wants, Ivan says he's memorizing their expressions, and walks away. Since the group believes they are invincible, they don't think much of it. They are completely unaware that they have committed the biggest mistake of their life. Following the encounter, Ivan approaches an old acquaintance and a judge for assistance, but the judge tells him he should have raised Katya better, so she wouldn't become a prostitute. Ivan insults him and walks off. He decides to take matters into his own hands. He goes to a realtor, and sells his vacation house for $5,000. He intends to use the money to exact his retribution that afternoon. When he comes home, Katya informs him that Vadim's father, Nikolai has gone to the house to give her a money envelope. She later informs him that her aunt has left them the keys to her apartment, in order for them to care for the birds. Ivan arrives at this flat, and notices that the criminal's apartment is right in front of him, he intends to use this location to punish them. He walks to the market, and encounters an official weapon salesperson, who attempts to sell him pistols and revolvers. When he asks for a sniper rifle, the man appears nervous, and says he is nothing of the sort. Ivan is ready to leave, when another salesperson approaches him and says he overheard their talk. He claims to have what Ivan is looking for, and is willing to sell it for the appropriate price. Ivan is driven to a hidden place, where the vendors show him different firearms. He is drawn to one SVD sniper weapon in particular, which he purchases. He puts the weapon through its paces on a dummy, and doesn't miss a single shot. The gun also has a silencer, which leads the seller to suspect he is purchasing it for criminal purposes. He returns home in the evening, to find Katya's mother has returned from Turkey with a new partner, she's never truly been present in Katya's life, preoccupied with her life with her boyfriends. She gives them gifts and appears to be really delighted to be back. She also encourages her daughter to forget what occurred, and live happily ever after. A few hours later, she informs Ivan that she needs some money. He realizes she merely returned to ask for money, not for Katya. When he confronts her, she acknowledges it, and threatens to take money from Vadim's father, Nikolai. Instead, he kicks her out of the house, and commands her never to show her face again. The next morning, he goes to a park to watch his neighborhood pals play chess. When he notices the boys entering their flat, he sneaks over to catch his aunt's house, which has a perfect view of their living room, and shoots Boris in the groin, killing him instantly. He returns to his friends after hiding the gun, behaving as if nothing occurred. Boris is brought to the hospital by his pals somewhere else. Afterwards, Nikolai is with Fatima and Igor, asking them what actually happened. He believes the lads were playing with guns when they accidentally shot Boris. The two dispute the allegations, claiming that they were only conversing. Nikolai warns them, thinking that someone is trying to take revenge on all three of them. The police inspector suspects Ivan is behind this, because he has every incentive to pursue vengeance. The inspector knows that Nikolai will come for Ivan, sooner or later. Ivan returns to catch his aunt's house a few days later, this time to target Igor. The boy is driving around in his automobile, listening to music, and not caring about anything. Ivan shoots the gas tank of the car, causing it to explode. Igor dashes out, his lower torso engulfed in flames. People nearby save him, but the accident burns the entire lower part of his body to the third degree, rendering him unable to stand. Nikolai is now certain that his son is the next victim. He warns Vadim to be cautious, and to secure the house, since the shooter could appear at any time. Vadim is terrified by the thought, and becomes worried. The inspector comes to Katya's house to meet with Ivan, and discuss the accidents. He can't find Ivan there, but Katya reveals that he frequently visits her aunt's house, to care for the birds. The inspector notices that the property is directly across the street from Boris's apartment, where the accidents occurred. He steals the keys to that apartment, to see if his suspicions are correct. At the same time, Nikolai and his other corrupt cops arrive at Ivan's house with a search warrant. They're convinced that he was responsible for the accidents, and want to look for the rifle, but they discover nothing after examining the entire house. Katya's aunt arrives at the door, and asks for her keys. The cops decide to search her flat as well. Ivan is worried, since he's concealed the gun at her place, but the police check every area, and still can't find it. Nikolai begs Ivan not to injure his kid, but Ivan says that he has already been harmed. Nikolai takes it seriously, and rushes to Vadim's aid. After he's gone, Ivan clarifies that he did nothing to Vadim, but his transformation into a rapist indicates, God will punish him sooner or later. When Nikolai gets home, he bangs on the door, pleading with Vadim to open it, and in response, he shoots his father through the door, thinking he is going to kill him. He has apparently lost his sanity after days of terror. The cops bring him a psychiatrist, but his chances of rehabilitation are slim. 
The inspector then invites Ivan to his home, and informs him that he stole the firearm before the police can find it. He knows the guys are to blame, so he only gives Ivan a warning. Ivan returns home to find his granddaughter singing a beautiful song, implying that she is slowly recovering from the trauma. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.